Hi. So the third element of a truly healthy uh, board is all to do with um, the confidence of the board members. Now, on the face of it, you're immediately going to say, well, you know, they're, they're, they've all elevated to the board. They've all been promoted to the board. They've all you know, got, gained their position on the board because they are experts in their field of, uh, of operation, in their field of specialty. And uh, they've grown through the business or we've, we've found them through recruiting and they're, they're absolutely the right person. But here's the thing. Even the most confident of individuals will suffer from what what is uh, you know uh, known as as uh, uh, you know uh, you, you, your level of per, you know positive intelligence and that positive intelligence is recognizing the positivity and your positive state versus being in a negative place now um i, I could talk about this all day long but uh, we've only got a few minutes so i just want to dive into the main salient points of this and in the very first instance yourself included and everyone around your board table will have they're in a judge and the difference will be the volume that that judge is at whether it's incredibly loud or whether it's turned down now the point here is the judge focuses on predominantly three three areas it will constantly be judging yourself so how many times have you been around the board and maybe come along you know come away from the board and you know did the board get me did they understand what i was saying you start to doubt your own ability to to lead to you know enroll and inspire the second area is that you immediately judge others. So again, you know, when we take into the account the, the other areas that we've talked about, and especially when we look at, you know, communication and the interpersonal skills and behaviours, you know, do you then start to judge other people on what you see rather than actually understanding their behaviours? And then that final piece that the judge offers as an internal narration to is your circumstances and situation, your environment and it will make judgments on that. Now the judge is unhelpful. It is not good uh, at being reasonable about the you know the the you know the volume at which it's screaming or murmuring or whispering in the back of your mind. But that voice is prevalent and present nonetheless. And the challenge that we face here is when we allow the judge the the space to you know to to grow in volume then you become become less certain with you know your circumstances or less certain about others or less certain about yourself and you start to self sabotage now the interesting point on this is and until you start to focus on positive intelligence uh you know pq um what happens when the the judge turns up is it triggers one of nine or a multitude of the nine accomplice saboteurs and I'll come to them in just a moment. So the point here is, is you know, we, we all of us have this judge. We all of us have this voice. What we've got to do is to seek to control and command that voice. We've got to, through positive intelligence and through building our mental muscle, we've got to, we've got to create that self-command to recognize when the judge turns up. Now, I'll share with you, uh, my judge is known, I call it uh, Wiley Coyote. And the reason I call it Wiley Coyote is because when the judge turns up and I recognise that this, the judge is there, I, I actually call it out by, you know, Wiley Coyote, we're, you know, we're not engaging today. We don't need your, your narration. We don't need you to be turning the volume up today. And then I, you know, imagine dropping a piano or blowing it up with a keen dynamite or dropping a rock on its head. And for those of you who remember the Roadrunner cartoon, Wiley Coyote is kind of like that nemesis of Roadrunner. And it, it puts a smile on my face and that smile immediately starts to shift me to a positive place. Now, what happens for most people when they don't recognize this and the vast majority of you out there won't recognize this in yourself in terms of leading the board or whether you are around the boardroom yourself. You won't recognize when the judge turns up, but rather how it triggers one of your accomplice saboteurs. Now, I won't go into these in detail, but suffice to say that you've got the controller you've got the hyper achiever um, there is the restless saboteur the victim the hyper um, uh, uh, performance you've got the stickler the pleaser um, the hyper vigilant and the avoider now all of these saboteurs will be measured in your own presence by a different degree my number one saboteur some time ago was the pleaser 
and I can always recognise when the pleas are turned up because I wouldn't ask or I'd, I'd try to avoid asking the difficult questions in a coaching session. So how can I be the challenge coach if I'm not going to ask challenging questions? And the pleaser was uncomfortable with that. The judge just wanted me to focus on actually, you know, be pleasant, have a nice time, build the relationship, get to know them, be friends. But as a performance coach, that's not going to help me in the slightest. And so I needed to then start to focus on the PQ and building that mental muscle to recognize and actually quiet now today, the pleaser, the volume is so, so low, I don't hear it. Now, in the self-command side of life, what we focus on is getting away from the judge, from the self-sabotage, and focus on the sage powers that we all of us have. And there are five of those sage powers. We have empathy in terms of empathizing with who you are. The, the ability to explore. Explore new opportunities. Explore new ways. To innovate. To think about, you know, what, what is a different way of doing this. To navigate and that whether that's navigating a, a new route, but it's kind of in your internal self. What, are, how do you navigate with your values? And the phrase I will use here to to sum that up is: do what you want, not what you want. And then the final one is to activate, to get into action, to you know, to think of something and then and then fire at it. And that's what I'm going to do to make action. And it's when that judge is triggered and the accomplice saboteurs are triggered and the, the volume is up. What this does when we then activate our sage powers, it allows us to reframe the situation and look for the gift and opportunity. So when you understand this yourself, how are you turning up at the boardroom? Or is that saboteur, is that judge right beside you, judging you? and judging the rest of your board members and judging the environment that your board members create? Or do you need to activate your sage powers? Again, if you want more information on this, then just drop me a message or get in touch.